happy full moon. I hope you are honoring how you feel, whether you're energized or you're feeling like you need to relax. Please honor it. I feel like this full moon has definitely been a little bit intense and the emotions have kind of really been all over the place. So this week I'm actually going to switch things up and we're gonna do a three card spread, a mind, body, spirit spread with a tarot deck and an oracle deck. And it's going to be for April 26th through May 2nd. And I'm just hoping with this spread, we'll gain some clarity on what it is that we can do to better take care of our mind, our body, and our spirit, and any reminders and guidance that spirit wants to give us for the week. So let's just get into it. I feel like with Monday's cards, it's kind of that perfect balance between celebration and recognizing things that don't serve us. And so with this full moon on Monday that's happening, it's a really powerful time for you to get really clear on the things that are no longer serving you and for you to let them go. And so what ends up happening, and some of us may be in this state of really needing to focus on letting go more than not, whereas some of us might be here celebrating being in this place where we have gone through an awakening, we have really transformed, we've laid down the foundation and now we're just here celebrating and connecting with people and enjoying all the hard work that we've gone through in order to get us to this place. And so if you're feeling a mixture of both of these, totally honor that. That's not like unrealistic. But this week, when it comes to your mind, pay attention to the things that are destructive towards you and that you are looking to let go of and that you are deciding like enough is enough no more. I'm going to be done with this and allow yourself to let it go, especially on Monday with the full moon. Give it to the moon. Give those things that aren't working for you to the moon. Give that energy there and stop paying attention to it. But also allow yourself to celebrate, allow yourself to connect into your community, allow yourself to recognize that all the hard work you've been doing, it is now a time for you to enjoy it and kind of like reap the rewards. So when it comes to our mind, you know, we are in this place of both and allow yourself to do both, you know? I feel like in regards to our body, we're being reminded that we have everything, like all the knowledge inside of ourselves. It's just about tuning in and paying attention to it. And so we end up getting a lot of cues through our body. And so with the high priestess, it's really about dreams, intuition, spiritual experiences, meditation, powerful visions, psychic insights, serendipity. And so what we're being reminded for when it comes to this week, when in regards to our body, is that there's gonna be a lot of cues that we might be missing. And that trusting in ourselves and meditating and grounding our energy. And of course, if we bring in the self-love, doing the things that provide us with self-love, but we can connect in and honor our true self and connect into our soul and really go about our dreams and figure things out and connect in the more we get clear on what our body is telling us, right? It's kind of like a twofold thing. Like once you start paying attention to what it is that you need and what your body wants, you can open up other aspects of yourself. Also, when it comes to having your crown chakra open, you really need to have also have the root chakra open. We wanna create that divine pull between two. So staying grounded, staying in our body, recognizing our cues, recognizing what it is that is being communicated to us and through us. So with the High Priestess in this week, I really just feel like it's a great time for you to start to understand your gut feeling and start to recognize anything that's happening by coincidence or like serendipity. If you see numbers, if you have a gut feeling, if something seems like it's going off track, if something seems like it's completely aligned, like really open up your eyes and start to pay attention to the energy that's happening and how it is being communicated to you. Because like I'm saying, like there's a lot of cues that do come to us through our body. It's just that sometimes we miss them because we haven't learned them. So also with our body in this week, self-love is going to be essential. And the other reason why self-love is going to be so prominent is like, think about it, like the full moon is on Monday. The energy of the full moon is going to linger. It might be bringing up shadow aspects of things for you to look at, for you to work on, for you to heal. So allow yourself to do those things and give yourself that self-love, right? Nobody's going to love you in the way that you can love you. Nobody's going to be able to console you in the way that you can console yourself. So recognize what it is that might need some extra healing and 
honor your emotions, just honor how you feel and know that anything that's happening right now, anything that might be feeling sticky and icky or like confrontational, like understand that it's gonna pass. Any of these low emotions that you might be feeling, those are gonna pass as well. Same thing with happy emotions, like those are going to eventually not be there as well, right? Like we always have a combination. So just with your body, really do your best to provide yourself with self-love, take care of your temple. This is the only body you have for this lifetime and just recognize what it is that you need to do next. So for this week, for spirit, we received temperance and the universe. And I feel like this is a really great week when it comes to your spirit for you to get clear on the things that you're overdoing, for you to get clear on the things that you are expending too much on. Are you overeating? Are you overspending? Are you binging on television? Are you eating foods that don't serve you? What is it that you're doing in an excess or in an extreme? and bring yourself back into a middle ground. It's going to help lift your spirit. It's going to help you feel more aligned. It's going to help you more clearly communicate with the universe and with the spirit and just get clearer on your path and help you like get rid of, you know, a lot of the other stuff happening for you. There's something to be said about discipline, right? Having this ability to live a more balanced lifestyle where you're kind of walking between both worlds and you're not doing anything to the extreme. That's going to help you go really far. And so we're also being reminded about the universe, that the universe is always here supporting us. It's always here guiding us. But we also have to take a step. We can't sit here just asking for signs and asking for help without us doing something to help us get further on the path that we want to go to. So if there's a goal that you've been working towards, know that this is a great week for you to just continue to trust that you are supported, but take the steps in order to get yourself to the next place that you want to go to. And if you can really notice the things that you are doing in excess, notice the things that you are overdoing and start to peel it back and start to really find that middle ground, that balanced state. And once you are feeling imbalanced and in harmony, the universe and everything else is going to feel like it aligns that much more easily because it will and it does. So as I look over this week in regards to our mind, our body, and our spirit, and what is being communicated with me today for you guys for this week, I just can't help but imagine somebody standing there and like shaking everything off. Like especially with this full moon energy, and I know I keep bringing it up, but the moon energy is really significant. And when you start to live aligned with the moon, life really does changes. And so I just imagine somebody like standing there, like shaking their shoulders and like shaking off all the things that no longer serve them anymore and allow allowing things to just fall away and instead start bringing in and celebrating the things that they do enjoy. Like, you know, our thoughts really matter. And so when we shift our perspective and we think about the things that we want and we really work on visualizing and manifestations, those things happen because of the power of our mind. And so we can either sit here and we can think thoughts that don't serve us. We can think about the things that we're fearful of or that we're worried about. And it's going to happen because that's what we're thinking about continuously. Or we can sit here and we can think about the things that we dream of, think about the things that we want to have happened and that we are wishing for. And so I really feel like this week is a great week for us to come back, become aligned, really start to pay more attention to our bodies, start to really just recognize the energy and start to live from a more energetic place. And I keep having thoughts about this a lot, especially this last week. It's like, what would happen if every day we live from a place being grateful, recognizing the energy, recognizing all the synchronicity, recognizing when our soul and spirit is communicating to us on a daily basis and that it is showing us that we are on the right path. And I think that that's really going to help you guys this week as you shake off the things that don't serve you anymore and you start to receive the confirmation that you're looking for that, hey, you are on the right path. You are doing exactly what you should be doing. You are exactly where you need to be. Just keep on trusting, keep on putting one step in front of the other and just keep doing the work and know that the universe is here and that you are getting to where you wanna go. So. So I feel like this is just going to be a super powerful week for us to let go and connect in and celebrate and all those types of things. So this is totally a different style. If you guys like this instead, please be sure to let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up. I think it is a little bit fun to just look at like the mind, body, spirit aspect for the week rather than every single day. So if you guys do like this style, I'll definitely keep doing this in the future. But I hope this helps you get through the week. I hope this helps you give you some clarity or some things to think about. And I just wanna say thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for tuning into this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.